Hey everyone, we have this absolutely gorgeous antimatter blue 2024 Ford F-150 Lariat in the 502A high package loaded with upgrades. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite colors to make the truck in. I just love the metallic. I mean, if you take a look in the sunlight here, you'll just see so much metallic in that paint. They have refreshed this truck for 2024, um, which I really love the new design and some of the new upgrades. Let's check it out together. Underneath the hood of this one is the 3.5 liter twin turbo EcoBoost engine, made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. It is amazing for pulling, plenty of power, all that power put to the pavement by that silky smooth 10 speed transmission. And it's actually really good on fuel. The vehicle has an extra large fuel tank, 136 liter fuel tank, and most of the time, doing highway driving, you are gonna get a thousand or maybe even over a thousand kilometers to a tank of fuel, uh, which is pretty fantastic. Then you can see these gorgeous all new headlights for 2024. So these are a full LED headlight that's completely automatic. Nothing you need to do with that headlight. And because it's a 502, those are upgraded even further over the other models. Set it and forget it, including auto high beam. They work just great. And they go well with the LED fog lights on the bottom. You also have front park sensors in the bumper. So those will beep and go off. You get too close to something in the garage and don't run over your kid's bike. Um, you've got front tow hooks down there for pulling your friend out of the ditch. And this does have the upgraded option, the block heater, which is right in behind here for those cold weather climates. Then this does have the around view camera system. So you've got a camera in the front under both mirrors and in the back, again, just helping you park. I love the new Ford emblems, number 2024. Just that crisp white outline. I think it looks really, really good. And the new grill looks fantastic as well. This does have an aero skin hood deflector that's been installed to save the paint up front from some rocks and things like that. The vehicle also has a forward collision system with pedestrian detection. So if somebody steps out in front of you last minute and you don't have time to hit the brakes, it's gonna do that for you. That saves lives and saves money on insurance you have these gorgeous chrome clad 20 inch wheels that look amazing they're wrapped in the dynapro at2 tires that have nice siping and grip on them you can see that chrome cat f-150 lariat badging on the side again man the blue is just popping in the sun right now it looks great we do have some nice gator back kickback or sorry gator back mud flaps protecting the paint installed here these mirrors are the upgraded trailer tow mirror. They are a power extending mirror, nice bit of chrome here. And then they do have the LED signal lights built right in. They are an auto dimming mirror on the driver's side, dual convex, great for towing, power extendable, power folding, and you have a blind spot system in the mirror too. So that lights up when somebody's in your blind spot. To get in or out of this truck, you can just put your code inside here and it'll unlock, or you can put your hand inside the door handle to sense the heat from your hands and unlock. Press this button here to lock the truck, or you can use this key fob with unlock, lock, remote start, power tailgate, and alarm, or download the Ford Pass app for free and do that from anywhere in the world from your smartphone. Thank you, Ford, for making that free. Tinted windows off the back look fantastic. Platform running boards make it nice and easy to get in and protect the bottom of the vehicle. And then as we op open up the back door here, you get your first look at this gorgeous Lariat interior. I love all the textiles that have been used Bang & Olsen stereo system in this 14 speaker unleashed system that comes in the 502A. The seats are super comfortable, well padded, nice leather. Love the chocolate piping that's been done. These rear seats on a 502 are heated as well. You can see those heat controls right there with your rear vents, 12 volt power outlet, USB-C connect uh, control, as well as your 400 watt inverted power supply. Now, if we lift this up, the 502 comes with the mobile office package, which is new for 2024. And you get some under seat storage here, which can fold flat and make this whole space totally flat, which Ford is known so famously for. This also has the all weather matting installed and you've got the cloth mats if you wanna put those in too. Now, this is the 157 inch wheelbase giving you the six and a half foot box, um, which is awesome. It gives you the higher tow capacity as well as just more spots to put things in the back. You know, if you wanna throw a quad or anything else back there, you've got lots of room. Fuelless filler caps, so you don't have to worry about a gas cap in there as well. And then you've got the FX4 off-road package. Love that package, giving us skid plates, upgraded suspension, hill descent control, as well as rock crawl mode. 
uh, LED tail lights in the back that look great. Another one of those beautiful badges. And then you have that backup camera and an LED light off the tailgate. Now on your back bumper, you've got backup sensors. So if you get too close to something backing up, again, it'll let you know. And the vehicle has a rear brake assist system. So if you're backing up and you're gonna hit something like a telephone pole or something, it'll put on the brakes for you. Again, just saving the back end or maybe saving somebody's life. Press this twice and our tailgate comes power down for us. We have installed a spray liner on this one, so it's all protected. And then you do have another inverted power supply in the box here. You also have a power slider off the back window. That's a tinted window and it's heated so it can melt everything off when it's winter time. We've got C-clamp holders on the tailgate. So on either side here, um, if we want to mount some uh, C-clamps on here, if you're doing woodwork or anything, you've got a spot for that. And then you have strap holder on both sides for longer objects coming out of the box. And that dual that doubles as a bottle cap opener from the bottom, um, which is really nice. You also new for 2024 have a little bit more storage in the box here. So this can open up and you can throw, you know, a ratchet strap, pair of gloves, something like that in there. It's just always nice to have those options. So let's go to the front of this truck and take a look at some of the features on the inside. So we're going to open up the driver's door. I always like to show these just for the capacities on the vehicle. And then we've got some new things. So what is this? This is the new Blue Cruise um, feature that's on the 2024s. Now you used to be able to get it on the higher end models from 21 and up, but it is standard on this model now. And this sensor watches your eyes going down the road when you have the fully autonomous driving system on. That's right, fully autonomous. The truck drives itself on mapped roads, does require a subscription, which this vehicle does come with a trial of, and uh, you can take your hands right off the wheel, and this just makes sure you don't fall asleep and watches your eyes. Then down here, we've got memory settings, three different ones, our power locks, our power extendable mirrors, power folding mirrors, and our power window controls. Um, love the trim that's been done. This is a new trim for 2024. That 14 speaker Bang & Olsen Unleashed Stereo System I was telling you about. And then we've got just beautiful textiles on the dash. This is for your power tailgate, your LED lights under your mirrors. This is for a cargo lamp that's over top of the box. Your set it and forget it headlights and fog light, interior dimmer switches, power adjustable pedals and emergency brake. Now this also has power tilt and telescopic steering on memory function, which is nice. And you have these super comfortable 10 way adjusted heated and ventilated front captain's chairs look at how thick that bolstering is they are super super comfortable seats speaking of that let's climb inside and take a look okay now that we're inside the truck we're going to hit the push button start that's going to fire up everything for us built ford tough comes up on the display here beautiful digital display that's been upgraded for 2024 and if we look up in the windshield all new for 2024 heads up display love that feature come down below so we've got a lot of information in here including a digital speedometer and a bunch of other information that comes up in the middle if you want it to it even shows you the speed limit signs as you drive by them there is a camera up top here that will take a picture of the speed limit signs and put them right down there for you on the steering wheel itself you do have the adaptive intelligent cruise control system so adaptive means when we press this on you will see look at that there is lines between you and the vehicle in front of you and you can change that distance gap just by pressing the button on the steering wheel right here now you also have a lane detection system now this also doubles for your lane centering system what that is is for its semi-autonomous driving system it'll actually steer the steering wheel for you this isn't the fully system it just uses the lines on the road but it does work really really well to give you a break and you can actually take your hands off the wheel for a bit if you like with that as well and then you do have volume controls and a voice recognition system on this side controls for that digital display i was showing you and then we have phone and stereo controls now this leather wrap steering wheel is here Heated, feels like a warm cup of coffee first thing in the morning. Love that feeling. And then we do have the Bang & Olsen stereo. Again, you can see the BNO badging right there. 14 total speakers in that center channel works great. Nice little pocket to put things in front of it as well. And then the 12-inch screen display. Love this display. Think it looks amazing. And it runs with the Sync 4 system, which also is just awesome. Does self-updates while you're driving or ones that happen in the middle of the night as well. So this is just like your phone, but it does the updates for you and gives you new features, fixes, glitches, all that kind of stuff. Up top, we've got engine auto off. That around view camera system I was telling you about makes parking a breeze. You can actually zoom in on different corners if you'd like or we can see different views here so you've got a front view back view triple view ball hitch view uh, blind spot camera view and we can even hook up a trailer camera which is great for those of you who do like towing 
Um, get out of here, you've got your park sensors buttons, you can turn those on or off, and you can actually select the park sensors, front or rear, so you don't have to do them both at once. And again, just nice customization, four-way flasher, uh, traction control, and because this has FX4, we have hill descent control, which is what that button does. It keeps you from free rolling really fast down a hill. Now in here you see we do have a navigation system. This is fully connected with Ford. So with this system, you can actually uh, see real time traffic updates and you can see weather updates. You can see all kinds of stuff. Now in order for me to actually put in any instruction, we do have to activate the system. Um, this does also have wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, my favorite, because wirelessly this can project the apps from your phone, your Spotify, your podcast, even the maps from your phone, like your Google Maps, your Apple Maps, Waze Maps. So if you don't want to use the hard-based navigation, you can use your own from your phone, which is just great. Um, then if we go into this features, I do like to show this. So two of the new awesome features on the Lariat are smart hitch and onboard scales. They used to be a uh, uh, extra feature you had to buy and now they come complimentary. Um, so with this one, onboard scales is beautiful. You can actually see the payload that's in the back of the truck. Um, which is really nice and you can even use the tail lamps from the outside so those lights will light up one two three um, showing you how much is in there so this is just really cool that it shows you that and then the smart hitch you can actually set up your trailer to know what type of hitch weight you have on the ball and you can set up what type of trailer it is and all that kind of stuff as well too so that's great um zone lighting one of my favorite features what is zone lighting well it turns the whole outside of the truck into one big led flashlight so if i press all zones everything's lit up outside here you're like a portable light tower i love it and then if we press this we can control which zones are lit up um, very great, especially in the winter or anything like that. Of course, for music, we have satellite radio, Bluetooth streaming, like I mentioned, the Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, as well as AM and FM. So all kinds of ways to do that kind of stuff. Um, as we come down below, we've got volume controls for our stereo, MISA, or sorry, the volume control here. We can shut that screen off. If this becomes bright at night, we can press this just to give us basic information or nothing at all. So just in case that's too glaring for you. Now, and this does have, have the dual climate control system, my side, my passenger side, our heated steering wheel, heated seat, and ventilated seats. Now, what's new for this year is if we press this button, we actually have an auto temperature on. What? So that means that if I have this setting like this, if it gets hot, my seat will just come on automatically. And it can do that for hot or cold. Love that feature. Uh, fan control in the middle here. Open this up. Wireless charger, as well as a USB and USB-C connection. And then we do have the console shift. This is not in all the F-150s. You have to get certain packages to get it, but the Lariat 502 does come standard with it. And then we've got a manual mode where we can shift through all 10 gears here press the silver button Ooh, it's a magic trick it goes out of the way so that gives you some space to work with which is nice place to put pens and cups we have our center console because the Lariat has the mobile office space built right in this opens up gives us a place to work from or have a snack love that they've given it that feature even if you open this up which is lockable got an upper and lower section with another couple USBs that sees there so all sorts of charging interfaces then we've got two glove boxes here. Don't try and pry it open. Just press this button and you'll open up the top one. You've got the bottom one. We've got a 12 volt power supply as well as inverted power supply. So that's three in total for the truck. And then this does have the tow haul set up inside of it. So we do have the pro trailer backup assist, which is great, as well as a trailer brake controller. Our four wheel drive is two high, four high, four low, and four automatic to set it and forget it. I love that. That's a Lariat feature exclusive. We've got a locking rear differential. Speaking of the differential, this one has been upgraded to the 355 tow gears, max tow. They're calling it a few different things, but it gives you the highest tow capacity. And then if we switch this drive mode over and we look in this screen, we can go from normal over to slippery, over to off-road, uh, or to rock crawl. And I love that they've given different animations on here. It all automatically shifts the 4x4. It shows us into the compass. We can go into off-road gauging. Um, just really cool look to the truck. And also, it gives you off-road gauge for your heads-up display. So, And then if we go the other direction um, from normal, we'll go over to tow haul, uh, go over to eco or sport. And again, when you go into things like tow haul, that's going to even change 
my heads up display so we can see now the RPM gauge in the uh, heads up display. So it's just really cool that it's giving you all that kind of feedback. Now sport mode also increases your shift points, puts your all, uh, four wheel drive automatic on as well as kind of picks up the exhaust note a little bit for you. So really cool uh, that they've done all that. Now as we come up top, you've got an electrochromatic auto dimming mirror. We've got some LED uh, map lights up top. We've got a rear slider in the back. And then to put your shades away, you've got a sunglasses holder. Finish it all off with garage door openers up top. And uh, that is this beautiful 2024 Ford F-150 Larry at 502A. Thanks a lot for watching this video with me. Do me a huge favor, click subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and hit the bell icon. You'll be notified every time I make a video. And if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks everyone.